Hey, I'm Pitboss from Pitboss Gaming Co. And I'm doing another Redstone video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. But first things first is I am so sorry for the quality. The video, the screen recorder I was using is not responding anymore. It's cutting out large chunks of video and audio. And any other recorder I try, because my computer is shit, it either crashes the Minecraft, it bugs with Minecraft, or it just like lags the computer entirely. So I'm s I apologize ahead in advance for that. Hopefully the video quality won't be too bad. But let's just get to it. Now this is something I created just because I could. It's patented slime clock. <laughs> Not really patented, but every time the slime goes around on the minecart, it changes the time to midday or noon because I hate night. But since sometimes the time change will bug with redstone, I'm going to deprive Teddy of his roller coaster privileges. I'm so sorry, Teddy. <laughs> he loves his roller coaster. I'm, just, I'm sorry I have to take it away from you for now, Teddy, okay? But, yeah. This is a complicated locking door. Not locking, but locked door that I've made. Now, first things first, there's a reset button. There's a lot of redstone. <laughs> there's a dual combo lock, which means you have to step on one of the pressure plates while pressing one of the buttons. They're all within reach, so you're not going to have, like, a 6 and a 1, so... Yeah, that won't work. There is a hopper system that will detect which item you put in, and if you put in the correct item, it will allow you to pass. There's one diamond per entrance, so if I put, like... If I put a dirt block in and try to be cheap, it's just going to sit there. It's not going to go through the tunnel. If I put in a named diamond, it's also not going to go through the tunnel because it has to be... The right one. Now I'm gonna try to do this without getting the wrong combination because if I do get the wrong combination, you have to wait four minutes and ten seconds before you're able to both reset and open the door. So and if after the four minutes and ten seconds, it automatic it automatically just changes it so it's it resets the entire thing. So let's do this. So there's, the combination is 1-1, one, one, then 2-1, so 1-1, one, one, step on the pressure plate, press the thing, 2-1, step on 2 and press 1, 3-5, step on 3, press 5, we have more seconds, 4-2, so step on 4, press that, 6 and 4, then 5 and 3, and then 6 and 6. When I press this, there should be a piston sound going off up here. That sound right there, it's this piston up here that's cutting off the circuit here. If you were to press this final button right here without having that button go off, that piston, it would turn the lockdown on, which means it would just break the circuit for 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Now if I hit reset, it'll automatically do that, but since I know I got the combination right, I'm going to go ahead and drop my diamond in. And once I press the button, it should let me in. And there we go. So, that's how that works. Now let's say... Let's reset this real quick. The reset button doesn't just reset the combination, it also resets the acknowledgement of letting you it, it it resets the machine from knowing that you've paid already so you I'd have to pay another diamond now here's the paying thing you put the diamond into this hopper here which then since it has nowhere to go it doesn't automatically go down but since it has this 22 it gives the comparator a certain signal strength which once it's 23 it will power the comparator which will then power to the repeater. Right now it's only powering one redstone block, one redstone ore, but it needs to power two to get to the repeater. Then it just turns this whole circuit on, which lets you know that you've paid and powers the dropper so it cycles through the whole 
system. I'm actually going to take those back. And that's the ping function. Now, the second part of this is... Hey, Snowflake. So? I, I'm second. terrible at catching. <laughs> I wonder who you're talking to. Yourself. <laughs> I'm recording. I'm recording. Now, shut up. Just shut up. Okay, whatever. So, this next part, after that rude interruption, if you were to press the wrong button or try to admit it early, it would lock this button that you just pressed down so you couldn't try the combination again, and it would also lock this down, which will prevent you from resetting the combination. And it doesn't unreset until after 4 minutes and 10 seconds of this path of repeaters. Now, if I were to make this path also repeaters, coming back, it would be about seven and a half minutes, a little more than that, probably. And what it does, it automatically resets, it turns off this function right here, which both locks this and this piston, and it also re automatically resets both the payment and the whole combination function. The payment is down from here. It goes straight over to the hopper system over there. Now, the only way to actually hack this system is to have someone standing on each pressure plate and pressing the button in front of them eight, seven times. That's the only way I can think of to hack it without griefing it. There's not much else about this, except for it takes for ever to get back. I'm just gonna give Teddy the roller coaster since I'm not doing any more redstone. He loves his roller coaster. So, there's that part. That's pretty much it. The redstone is pretty simple if you have a mind like mine. But after the payment function goes down, after it's paid, thank you Teddy for turning the lights back on, it goes to this little gate right here. This one right here has to be, all of these resin torches have to be turned off. The first torch is this one. It can be turned off by the button, but since it's still locked down, that can't be done. You have to have this one off as well. This one is the payment, which is the diamond up there. And this one over here is only turned off if the final gate of the lock is turned on. So, it has to be opened. So, thank you, Teddy. So all of these have to be off at the same time, so that's why the button only works short term like a normal button would. It just powers this inverter up here which keeps the door locked and then turns it on if you power all three. That is pretty much it. It's very simple. The gates are... Since you're pressing two things... Oh, what was that sound? It's like a baby zombie somewhere. Okay, but the gates are these little things here. It's the same function as the one over there, but it powers this lock which yeah, this oh, there he is. <laughs> Hello. It's kind of loud. Let's turn the sound down. But he, this function, it just powers the next gate. You cannot open the next gate without powering the first one, and the second one, and then the third, and the fourth, and so on and so on. But once this final gate is opened, it turns this redstone signal off, and this redstone signal on. No, 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 wait. Vice versa. This one off, and this one on. Because I have it reset. So, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, if you'd like to see more of my stuff, just subscribe. If you like this, please leave a like. If you want to ask any questions, if you're confused about anything, I'll be glad to answer, and hope to see you soon. See ya!